That was another interesting uh, election night here in Fayette County. Uh, is uh, Fayette County for the second straight presidential election went uh, voted for the Republican candidate in the presidential election over the Democrat uh, Barack Obama. Uh, back in 2008, John McCain it was by about a thousand votes, and this time around, with a former Massachusetts governor Mitt Romney, won by about four thousand votes. So, it, it, what's interesting is that this back in 2008, it was the first time since 1972 that Fayette County had gone for a Republican. Back then, in 1972, Fayette County went for Richard Nixon against George McGovern, and of course Nixon won in a landslide that, that year. It was also interesting just kind of looking down at uh, some of the other races. Um, U.S. Senate, um, Bob Casey did win uh, by about 50 percent, but it was far less than the 65 percent win that he had back in 2006 when he defeated Republican incumbent Rick Santorum. And of course Bob Casey's father, <clears throat> Bob Casey Jr., did, always did very well here in Fayette County, and Bob Casey had done very well when he ran for treasurer and auditor general in uh, Pennsylvania. So he did it was a little bit less. Now Congress also, uh, Republican there, Bill Schuster, won a narrow victory over the Democratic challenger Karen Ramsburg. So uh, once again, the, the Republican Party kind of uh, showing, showing some strength. But in the statewide races, for Attorney General, Auditor General, and Treasurer, the um, Fayette County voters went all with the Democratic candidates. So everybody kind of had a little bit of, uh, you know, something to, to kind of brag about, and it was definitely a mixed bag. And you do, you just kind of wonder <clears throat> what this is going to mean for the future. Um, you have to, you have to wonder if maybe. Uh, it was just that Barack Obama was an unpopular candidate in Fayette County. Uh, he was unpopular through all of southwestern Pennsylvania. He, he also lost in uh, Green, Washington, Westmoreland, Somerset, uh, Beaver County, um, all over southwestern uh, Pennsylvania. And part of that probably was that there was a lot of talk about the war on coal. That they claimed that uh, the Obama, <clears throat> with his EPA, is. Um, mounting a campaign to try and drive coal mines out of existence and whether that's true or not um, they're definitely it definitely had some some effect and definitely probably did lead to Obama uh, not doing very well in in this area so you just have to wonder you know where this is going to go for the future um, was it just that uh, Barack Obama was uh, was a weak candidate or was it a, a sign of perhaps the Democratic Party isn't as strong as it used to be, that it's always had this machine and always supported Democratic candidates up and down the, the ballot. And is that kind of, you know, leveling off now? Maybe people aren't going to vote that straight Democratic ticket. Maybe people are a lot more prone to vote for the individual candidates. And also, is it a sign perhaps that the Republican Party is uh, reorganized and re-energized and really going to try and be a force here, and maybe Fayette County will really have a two-party system. They've always said that the Democrats have dominated Fayette County so long that they took Fayette County for granted, and the Republicans wrote Fayette County off. So perhaps now, with the real two-party system, maybe both parties will really pay close, closer attention to, uh, to what goes on here in Fayette County. So that's it for, for now. We're going to take a break, and we'll be right back. At theheraldstandard.com, our mission is to provide news, information, and services to enable our communities to prosper. Every day, we strive to achieve this goal through three dynamic products. Wake up each morning to a copy of the heraldstandard.com newspaper delivered to your home. Enjoy the e-edition and exact replica of our print product on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. Or secure unlimited access to our full coverage digital news site online at heraldstandard.com. One local news leader, three great options. Okay, welcome back to this edition of On The Mark. Um, we're here to talk about the uh, uh, very interesting uh, election held this past Tuesday and looking at you know some of the trends where Fayette County went uh, Republican for the second uh, presidential election in a row, and what the, what's this going to mean? And also looking at some of the other races, uh, the Democrats did do well in the statewide um, 
races, uh, Auditor General, Attorney General, and Treasurer, and also uh, Bob Casey won for U.S. Uh, Senate, although it was uh, a very close race. So I want to hear what you have to say and what you think about the, these races and, and what this means for the future of Fayette County. You can send a letter to 8-18 Church Street, Uniontown, PA, or you can send a letter via email to mokeefe at heraldstandard.com. We certainly want to hear what, whatever you say, and, you know, that's what uh, this program is all about. So that's going to be it for, for this show. Uh, my name is Mark O'Keefe. I'm executive editor for heraldstandard.com. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later.